when it comes to designing lures, my own personal feeling is that what a lure does is really more important than what it looks like. But if you've got a lure that does something really good and it also looks really good, it certainly can't hurt. One of the most difficult but things that make a, a lure look most realistic uh, it, are scales. And there's a lot of different ways to do them. If we were painting, we could fold over a piece of mesh and sh sh spray it. But when you're actually carving and molding a lure, uh, you can do it more realistically by actually getting the actual co uh, contour of the scales involved in the, in the uh, actual blank. If you're going to do it by carving on a piece of wood, which is a good way to do it, uh, it takes quite a bit of skill and it takes really a lot of time. I've been trying to figure out a simple way to do it. I think I've come up with something that, well, it's a pretty easy way and I want to share it with you. It involves using these little, uh, they're called ninji knives, and I bought them in an art store. They're not very expensive. And I think they're what the Japanese school children use to uh, carve with. And I've got something that's called a modeling wax. And this, this is just a, a wax that melts, I think, at about 180 degrees. If you want to melt it, use a double boiler. And then I took my uh, wiggly mold. This is just a, a minnow thing, and it looks great in the water, but it's not super, super realistic in terms of uh, its finish. So what I've, what I've done is taken these little ninja knives and in wax, you want to practice just a little bit. In wax, all you have to do is just insert it and push down. And then do it again and again and again and again. You want to make a smaller scale, or just make a little shorter stroke. Or if you want to make an even smaller scale than that, you get a little bit smaller knife and you can make little tiny little scales and you want to practice a little bit first then I made a, a wax I melted my wax and I just poured it into the wiggly mold that made this one then I took it and with my knife made scales. Then I've made a mold and poured soft plastic into it and I have gray soft plastic. You may say that's a weird color. Well, I've dusted this mold rather than dye the and make layers and so on. I put a Luma dust in the mold and elsewhere on the website you can see about how to use that. But anyway, this gray really picks up the dust nicely and gives you pretty good colors. There we go. And you can see the, I'll turn it around. You can see the scale pattern on it. And if I want to, after uh, this step, I can dip it in clear and wind up with a little bit slicker. You can check out the scales here. A little bit slicker look. Now you can see that these scales got a little bit deep and actually got pulled apart with the mold. To solve that problem, uh, had I done this, just sort of poke these down. See how these are lifted up. Just sort of flatten them out, and I think the next one will come out even better. Scales.